These are giant garamis. They're an Asian fish. See, they're, they're cautiously coming up to eat. Right. But these fish are a really interesting possible species. They're a freshwater fish. They grow to be very large. They're an air breather. They're a possible species for aquaponics.
drain the sludge we already saw. Right. We're gonna have we're gonna have more, more sludge this okay. afternoon so we're gonna be able to drain. Okay. But what we really are looking for is a filter that's suited for the needs that we're trying to achieve. Okay. Right? Gotcha. So high stock intensity must have. Must have, must okay. Have. So the big thing are the high stock intensity, high stock high fish stock intensity, yeah. and also the maintenance. Absolutely. The maintenance, being Absolutely. able to not do a, a whole bunch of maintenance and spend a lot of your time on that. That's maintenance. just a clarification step. Right. So just clarification. Now when we're looking for biological filtration, we're not going to get that from a swirl filter. A swirl filter. We can get it from a, a gravel filter, yes. We can get that from a gravel filter, but we talked about yesterday with Dr. Malone. Right. What are the bacteria that are going to be on that gravel? Yeah, it's going to be the paratrophic. Yeah, and bacteria. they're not going to be doing the job we want them to do. Yeah, they're okay. going to be taking care of refractory organic solids. Yeah, okay. They're not going to be doing the nitrification that we want. Okay. So even if you've got a biofilm on those on that gravel, right. you will not have nitrifying bacteria on them. Gotcha. So we're promoting a healthy biofilm just by backwashing the filter. Okay. We do the staggered, a mm -hmm. staggered planning. Mm -hmm. So you'll have, let's see for the three week one that we have. This is, so these are like the the, the beds, the beds here. Mm -hmm. So you'll have your two weeks in, the nur in a nursery. Let's say a nursery is over here. You're gonna go over here for two weeks. Then they're in the, the seedling stage. And then they have four, or let's say, let's say three weeks. Cause you want a six weeks total grow out time. So this needs three weeks here in the nursery and then you'll move them, you'll move this batch here and this will grow out for three weeks. Mm -hmm. You have your next batch here, they'll be here for three weeks, then they'll be, then, then after three weeks they, they'll be moved over here. Mm -hmm. And these guys will almost be ready. By the time you get to this last one, the last three weeks here, these guys will be ready in here and then these guys will be ready to harvest. Mm -hmm. And then these, then after that, there'll be some new ones that come in here, and then these guys will be ready to harvest. So it just keeps only one of these is is ever harvested at a time. Mm -hmm. So that's how we that's how we do it. Yeah, third, right? Right. You can do a third or a fourth, okay. or you can even like the six week how you were talking about, but that wouldn't that doesn't utilize space as efficiently. Okay. If you, if you grow them all in, in the in the main raw area. Right. No. Okay. No. It would be so. You're you're saying you're you're. Um, philosophy for mm -hmm. the hydroponic grow out mm -hmm. is a three week nursery and a three week grow out. Yeah, or a four week. I would do a four week. A four week a nursery? Week, yeah, no, a two week nursery and a four week grow out. Oh, okay. Two week nursery, four week grow out. So that's six weeks total. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, so just for example, we had 20,000 cells. Mm -hmm. So I would break that down into how many grow out weeks we're doing so if we're doing that's going to be it's like 8.6 we can get 8.6 harvests a year if it's a six week so that's 52 weeks in a year and we divide that by um six weeks that's going to be 8.7 so we can say just to be safe we can say um can we round that up or round that down i would round it or probably, well, there's a whole formula that we do, right, on how to base the the size of the um of your your grow out system. But it's uh, based off of the fish. It, it, it goes through the whole thing based off of the fish, right? And then that you know that tells us the rest of the plant production area. So, but, so if we're harvesting a third at a time, mm -hmm. every so, week. Mm -hmm. So third every week. Mm -hmm. So I gotta make sure I get this right. Okay. So we got twenty thousand cells. And we're gonna round that down. We're gonna say instead of nine growth cycles, we're gonna have eight growth cycles in case there's an extra in, in case one instead of taking six weeks, it takes seven weeks. Okay. So we're gonna have eight growth cycles, we're gonna have eight harvests a year. So if we divide twenty thousand cells by eight harvests. That means we're gonna have 2,500 2, heads a week. All right? Let me see. One second, let me see. If I have the same. Because I think it's a different. You have 20,000 cells. Yeah. You 
get 6,000 per week. 6,600, that's what your harvest would be per week. Because you have 20,000 total, and each, you're harvesting the third every week. Once you, mm. once you get into the full production. Mm -hmm. Back out here live in Aquaponics Paradise. What we out here doing? Carlito! You gotta get the fish and weigh them out. We're, see how many pounds of fish we can have. We already weighed the female tank, and right now we're doing the males. Here it is, let me get you a quick view. Check it out. You notice the color change? What? The fish, they get more pinkish. They have a pinkish in them. Yeah, the males. Some of the females do too. When you look them through the window, they look black though. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Top deal gives it a different look. Take this air stone and put it in this tank. Bam. You grabbing the whole tank in one swing or what? Yeah. Man. <laughs> Let me see. Oh. All right, go ahead. It's already on there. Just put it in there. Put it all the way down and don't let it rest on there. Let's check it out. All right, let me know what it is. 6.7. All right. 6.7. All right, now press the tear button on there. We'll take them out. Take them out and then press the tear button. You Once again, two. round two with Carlito. These guys are too big to fall through the net. Yeah. These nets are perfect for them. Look at them. By the yeah. thousands. I'll fly all these guys up. 6.39. 6.4, okay. No, 6.5 actually. 6.5, okay. Yeah, 6.5. All right, putting the fish back in. Get it. Back to freedom. Back home. 